Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the uh, Hurricane Ian Daily Briefing for October 3rd, 2022. Today is Monday, <clears throat> and uh, I got a job posting here from Pilot Catastrophe. And slide over to that real quick. <clears throat> Pilot Catastrophe currently is looking for adjusters with at least two years of experience to work in their Fort Worth, Texas and Mobile, Alabama offices, as well as in the field in Florida. To apply, use the link right there. And of course, obviously, you know, you could write that down or you could just go down to the description below this video and click the link. <clears throat> um, if you're already on Pilot's roster, you've likely been contacted already for, for these opportunities um, and probably other opportunities as well. If you're not, um, if you haven't been, I should say, um, if you're on Pilot's roster and you haven't been contacted, um, it's possible that you're not showing up as available in their system. So I, if I were you and you're like, well, I haven't heard from Pilot, Maybe give them a call if you're on their roster and let them know that you're available and, and if they if you know if you're deployable. Um, there's still lots of need out, need out there for field and remote property adjusters and examiners. Uh, so if you're not deployed and you want to be, better be picking up the phone and making things happen. I said it previously and I will say it again. Do not sit around waiting to get a license or trying to figure out how to get an emergency license from Florida or getting a ladder or anything else uh, before trying to call in and get deployed. If you're ready to go, then, then call in and go. The rest of that stuff will kind of work itself out. You gotta lock in your deployment first. If you are a iFirm and you wanna be included in this daily briefing while it lasts, Send the following information to adjustertv.com slash contact, which again goes straight to my email. <clears throat> um, the role, obviously who you are, uh, the role you need to fill, whether it's field, you know, adjuster, photoscope, uh, remote, um, QA, trainer, file review, team manager, um, et cetera, whatever you need, whatever you're looking for. We've got a pretty big audience, a lot of people in this community um, who, are, who, who can be available to help you out with, with many different roles. Um, experience requirement, if any. Um, and then of course, the contact information for the applicants that you, that you where they can sign up for this, whether it's email, a telephone number, a web page. Um, it's pretty helpful to have a contact of a person um, so that we can say, hey, you know, call Audrey or call Bob or whatever, call and ask for so and so or hit, hit you know, hit option four or whatever it is. Um, that's pretty helpful um, for uh, for applicants to get make sure that they're getting to the right place. Um, <clears throat> again, all the de details are in the description below the video. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I have at this point. Um, thank you guys for checking in. Um, we're going to keep doing this for as long as I have firms that are, you know, telling me that they need adjusters out there. You know, I, I'm getting a question a, l a little bit lately where people are asking, you know, well, it sounds like Florida is all the experienced adjusters are going to Florida and then the newbies are getting left out in the cold or they're having to go to North or South Carolina or wherever, someplace else. <clears throat> um, there may be a little bit of truth to that, but I think for the most part, if you're available to go, um, then you need to go. Most of these firms, um, especially the, the ones that you know I've been posting up about in these videos for the past few days, um, they have multiple carriers. So they might, so State Farm or I'm, and I'm just arbitrarily randomly picking names, so this is not the actual case with these, but like for State Farm, All State Liberty Mutual, they may say, oh, well, we've got enough people for this or that, but you know, USAA and citizens and whoever else may still have a desperate need or vice versa, right? So don't, if you hear something on, on Facebook or whatever where people are like, well, you know, pilot, they're all full up, they're not taking anybody else. It's probably not true. Um, you know, and, and even if there is a little bit of truth to that, it could be that they, they put their, because there may be a delay in the, the claims getting filed. I, I know this is the case for a couple of the major carriers. There's a, there, there's a break. The brakes are put on someplace. And so they're saying, well, of the adjusters that are sitting in orientation um, are having to just sit there and wait 
to get claims. This happens on every single hurricane. Okay, the claims will come in. You know, they may be like, "Well, we're not sure that we." You know, th they don't know. They just, they just don't know. It's fog of war kind of thing, um, and or it may be that there's. You know, they sent down a wave of you know the initial set of adjusters, and then they're going to have one, two, three, four. You know, maybe more waves of adjusters over the next few days, next couple of weeks. You know, they'll they could still be deploying people. The other thing you got to remember is is that on an event like this, that there are a lot of people, a lot of new people. Okay, and you know if you're watching YouTube or Adjuster TV on YouTube or you're, or you're, or you're in Adjuster TV Plus or you know, I, I hopefully I've helped. You know, you've got the resources with these with my channels um, to to be able to survive. But not everybody's going to, and the people who've kind of like haven't found Adjuster TV or who you know aren't prepared or fully prepared for this, prepared for the pressure and prepared for all of everything that's going to come flying at them, they may leave. Okay. So what's going to happen is, is that there's going to be a lot of, there's, there may be a big wave of adjusters that go in at, at first, but then a, a good percentage of those people are going to wash out in the next one to we'll say four or five weeks. And those claims that they, they had in their queue go back into the to the main pile of claims to get distributed back out to other adjusters that are still there. They still are going to need people. So don't think, well, you know, it's over. They So-and-so said that they're not sending anybody else. It's just, it's not, on an event like this, this, of this magnitude and this scale, it's just not gonna happen. Just keep picking up the phone, keep calling, keep applying, bug them. Call them. I mean, normally I don't say to call every single day, like during the rest of the year. Maybe you call once a month, once every two or three weeks, right? And just say, well, I just picked up another license, or I, you know, up, get, call in to update and just sort of like ping them, let them know you're still there. On this, call every day, call a couple of times a day. Everything, just have a list of firms, 10 or 12 firms, and start at the, in the first thing in the morning and call, call them all. And then Later that afternoon, call them back, right? And they may say, you know, if you get a hold of somebody, they might say, well, you know, we'll call you, don't call us, because we're, you know, we're super slammed or whatever. I, I'm gonna keep calling. Myself, I'll keep calling, because the person may be like, suddenly have like something drop on their desk that afternoon saying, hey, we need 400 adjusters, and you happen to call. Hey, yeah, no, you ready to get your ladder, get your, you know, your chalk, and then let's send you, okay, so. This is the time to be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more assertive, um, more proactive, picking up that phone. Don't be fiddling around with like, well, should I take this training or that training? Don't even bother with taking my training. Just pick up the phone and make yourself available. If you get in there and you're like, well, you know, I think I'm over, in over my head, reach out to me, reach out to the other folks that, that sell training and say, hey, listen, what do you have that, that can help me in the, in the short term? And we'll, we'll help you as, as best we can. But don't be waiting around. Don't be sitting there, sitting there trying to flip a coin between, you know, Adjuster University and MoCAD and Adjuster TV. Just go, okay? You, you're going to have to get some help while you're on site. And you certainly will have, a, we all have online training um, that you can take advantage of. But don't don't sit there and wait. Now is the time. Just You, you got to go. So anyway, that's today's briefing. Um, I'll pop in tomorrow. And uh, until then, uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.